Changers. It's your boy TJ, aka Mr. Game Changer, and I'm back with another episode of the Game Changers podcast. This is episode 77, Luka Doncic numbers, episode number 77 of the Game Changers podcast, and I have a special guest here today, Gremlin State's very own... Uh, he, he's been deacon of the year for uh, many of years, got, got, got the award on his shelf cases. Um, he's father of of the year for the last, what, 20 something years. I don't know about father of the year. What? <laughs> I mean, I, I try to do what I could do when I could do it. He's, he's like an uncle to me. This is brother Don Ye Jones. Let's clap it up for him. Welcome to the pod. And the reason I bring him on here is because he's a fellow Lakers fans. Right. And honestly, he's he's very intelligent when it comes to the game of basketball. He's a coach himself. Yep. What what grade do you coach? Oh, now, now I have fifth and sixth and seventh and eighth. Okay. But I've coached all ages. But right now, fifth and sixth and seventh and eighth. So what? Because I know you were co- coaching high schoolers yeah. before. What? What's that shift like of coaching high school to middle school? I like middle school because you can mold. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I've got a lot of respect for youth coaches. Okay. Because you, you mold them at that point. Mm-hmm. High school, you can still mold, but a lot of times they're kind of set on yeah. what they're going to be yeah. in terms of attitude. But mm-hmm. I like both levels, though. Yeah, I can agree on that because even me – being a school counselor for almost a year, like, I agree with you. Like, when I go to the middle schoolers, they're more likely to listen to what I have to say when I bring up different activities or topics versus the high schoolers. I mean, they'll talk while I'm talking. They'll they'll be on their phones. They won't listen as much as they feel like they already know something right. or think that they know something that I'm saying. Absolutely. Or just they don't want to hear it. Right. So, you know, that's that's definitely a big difference. But we got a lot to talk about today. Uh, you came in on a day where this the, this is after the weekend. So this, today is Wednesday. Um, you guys will be is, seeing this on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, right. No, th- th- that's what I'm saying. They're going to be seeing this on oh, Wednesday. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, my day's mixed up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> got them confused over here, but. <laughs> We coming off a of weekend. We coming off of Grammys. Going into the next weekend, yeah. Super Bowl. Yes, yes. Uh, it's a it's a lot of things that that have been going on. Drake, I'm not finna start with you. <laughs> not yet. Okay. Uh, we not gonna start off with the. <laughs> we not gonna start off with the Lakers. Um, All so right. I'm gonna just get a real quick Grammy recap. Not really a recap because I'm not gonna sit here and talk about things I don't really care about. I mean, we had winners like Coco Jones, uh, winners like SZA that was well deserved. Um, who else? We got, what, Taylor Swift. I really want to get into that. Like, what do you think about Taylor Swift as she goes from in and out of entertainment to now being Travis Kelsey's girlfriend and being a part of this whole NFL barrage that they're trying to put on? She's America's sweetheart. She's America's sweetheart. You think so? I know so, and I'm going to tell you something. It started. I'm not saying... Her success would have been her success. Uh huh. But when Kanye went on stage, when she beat Beyonce for that video Uh and said, you had a nice video, but Beyonce video, everybody was so mad at Kanye and everybody had to wrap their arms around the poor little Caucasian woman. And she Uh been there, sweetheart, ever since. Mm, So you think that ignited it? It ignited without question. And I knew something bad was going to happen that night. (sighs) Why? Me and my wife, we used to watch the red carpet. Okay. That's when Amber Rose first got on the scene. Oh, you talking about pre the pre, show? Yeah. Okay, I got you. I got so, you. So, everybody like, who's this, you know, this fine woman that Kanye with? Mm-hmm. He had a fifth of Hennessy. Oh, yeah, I remember. Walking with it. That's and, an iconic picture. This is what yeah, I told yeah. my wife. I said, can't nothing good happen for him tonight. Mm-hmm. I ain't seen no cups. I'm <laughs> so he was taking it to the head. <laughs> and, and trust me, when you go on stage like that, I said, yeah, he on that brown. <laughs> He on that brown. I know what it look like. He on that brown. Uh-huh. So, but yeah, but seriously, I, I do think, I think her success would have been her success. Yeah. But I think that kicked it off. I mean, she's straight. I mean, I, I guess. But 
For America? Yeah, she's America's sweetheart. But for to watch foot do you like watching football? Love watching football. Okay, so if you're watching football and every five minutes the camera's getting panned to Taylor. Dude. What you like I It's too I, much. I, I do I agree. It's too much. I'm like, come stop, but see what what they're doing. They're trying to get more viewership mm -hmm. from the people who really don't watch football. Right. If you're really into entertainment, you know what I'm saying? But they don't need it because football is still the number one sport in America still. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it's, it's adding to it. You're talking about the number one sport as far as revenue? I think revenue, viewership, and everything. Really? Uh, foot, NFL is, is king. Okay. The NFL is, is king. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, because I did see a stat where, and it, it's been... Over the past few years, it's been a little small feud between yeah. NFL fans and NBA fans comparing the yeah. two, like, NBA is better versus NFL. And they came out with this stat saying, oh, this is, like, the most watched game. I think it was Lamar versus Patrick, that yeah. game. But it's like somebody, an uh, NBA fan was like, yo... The NBA plays every night. So we're not going to do football numbers when y'all only play once a week. Right. Like, we play every night. So could that viewership every week add up to what's it happening? It can, but you know what, though? It's like this here. They don't have NBA final parties because it's seven games. I'm yeah. sure some people get together. Uh -huh. People who don't watch football going to go to Super Bowl parties. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's kind of one of those things, the, the shield... The shield is powerful. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. And I mean, of course, you know, basketball is my sport, but uh, but the NBA, they got to tighten some things up, though. Mm, they got yeah. to tighten some things up. I agree. I agree. Now, back to the Grammys real quick. So, Taylor, uh, she won album of the year. Um, <laughs> fourth time, I think. Fourth time. I think two of those should have been Beyonce's, and that's what Jay-Z also said. Jay-Z, he came on, and I'm going to grab the clip because it was it was a great clip. And um, it was hilarious. The real quick, while I'm finding this clip, what did get? Give me what you thought. Did you see it? Uh, no, yeah, I, I didn't see it live, but I watched it today. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Hove was like, I mean, how, cause I think Beyonce got maybe like 32 Grammys. Mm -hmm. She got the most, I think. Yep. And like, how you 33? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. How she never won album of the year, and he just wanted to let it be known. Mm -hmm. But he always had something with the uh, with the Grammys, though. Yeah. He even said in one of his albums, um, I think it was The Life of Time of Sean Carter, mm -hmm. he said something about your know, so-called awards. He said, I come in with a do-rag, chain, pants hanging to the floor. Like, forget y'all, I ain't got to dress up for y'all. So he always had a had an issue. But see, when you're a billionaire, mm -hmm. you say what you want to say. Yeah. That's, you know what I'm saying? So he said, I got the power to say it, whatever. You know, so he felt that way about Beyonce. And uh, that's his wife. And uh, that's what it is. Oh, no, 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 no. Trying to go to the regular video, but um, yeah, as I bring up the video, I think he said uh something really profound. Um, it's I, I I believe the words were to keep stay with it. Yeah, yeah. I think at the end, honestly, that's the thing to do because definitely in this podcast space, like just me podcasting, it's like I'm on episode seventy seven, almost to a hundred. Like some people don't even make it to twenty. Right. Like. Right. Jay Z, I'm pretty sure he had so many obstacles in his way, like from the situation with Dane Dash. Like yeah. he could have gave up after that. Like yeah. they going back and forth, like Dame Dash saying you being greedy, this, that, and the third. Jay Z taking his route, but I feel like Jay Z was always confident in himself. Oh yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Here you go, right here. It got, it got a little silent. Most Grammys never won album of the year. That doesn't work. Obviously, it's subjective. You know, some of you, some of you gonna go home tonight and feel like you've been robbed. Some of you made it robbed. Some of you don't belong in the category. No, 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 okay. No, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. <laughs> look, look. Talk at his stuff. Outside of that, you know, we got to keep it 
keep showing up. Keep and showing up. Yeah. Like just in life, as, I, as my daughter sits and stares at me nervous as I am, um, um, just in life, you got to keep showing up. Just keep showing up. Forget the Grammys. You got to keep showing up yeah. until, you, until they give you all those accolades you feel you deserve. Until they call you chairman. Until they call you a genius. Until they call you the greatest of all time. And I think I think that was that was it for me, honestly. Like, keep showing up until until they have to call your name, until they have to bring you to the table, until they have to give you the money that you want and yeah. exceed it over that. So I just think that Jay Z is a legend, and he said what he said, and nobody can't can't really have a problem with it because most of he said it was the truth. Yeah, and, th and that's the thing, man. This still come down to, like you said, about believing in yourself. <clears throat> People gonna always have something to say, but like for instance, you can do whatever you want to do. If you're had satisfied with it, if you can look in the mirror and say you gave your best, of course you want the accolades. You want uh, people to say, hey, that's you did a good job. But as long as you know you're putting forth the effort, the stuff is gonna come. If your goal is to be acknowledged, like you said, you cannot not acknowledge. My work. Mm -hmm. You you can't. Even if you hate me, you got to acknowledge what I've done. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good uh, thing for everybody to say. Just keep showing up. Keep doing what you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, that happened with Jay-Z. And then after the fact or during the awards, they said Killer Mike got arrested yeah, after he received his third Grammy. And I was a little confused. I'm like I I I never see this happening with no I don't know I'm not trying to make this a race thing but I never see this happening with white people <laughs> like even this this is a white uh award show like yeah. you will see this happening at the BET Awards but you won't see this happen at the 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 Country Music Awards or something you get what yeah. I'm saying so even at the at the Grammys a fairly white um award show he gets arrested because he gets into it with a security guard first of all i feel like security guards like you should have a list uh uh uh, uh or a mental rolodex of who is going to be here tonight and who should be where so if i just seen killer mike get his I'm, and this is a hypothetical if i right. see killer mike get his third grammy and then he come off a of stage and let's say he's about to go in the section where he's not supposed to be. That's killer Mike. I'm not, he not finna go tear nothing up. He not yeah. finna, he just won something. He may be a little drunk, but. And we didn't know if he was drunk. Right. No, but see, and that's, that's the thing. It is their award. And my thing is, <clears throat> he doesn't have a history of doing like grimy stuff. Mm -hmm. out of public. So, that's even more like so. Who knows what? Who knows what happened? But I do know this here, like you said. Hey, this killer Mike, know his history. If he's back here, first of all, you just got a Grammy. I don't, I would like to know in context what actually happened. Mm -hmm. But in any event, what could have happened to get him arrested? Because I feel like this here. If who knows what the security guard said to him mm -hmm. or did to send somebody off, and then and I don't know. What the color was the security guard? Mm -hmm. Have he, you ever have you ever dealt with that? Like trying to get in the club or going somewhere? Like have you ever dealt with just a overzealous, a over yeah. like he trying to use his power oh, yeah. for for wrong? Yeah. Like oh yeah, it, yeah, it, it happens. And um, what you I, doing? What you doing in that situation? Check them. I just you know just they gotta be. It's a lot of ways to check people. Mm -hmm. You can check people for fashion. You can check people, cuss them out. It's a lot. It depends on. How you come? Because my thing is, no matter what's going on, mm -hmm. it's a way to talk to people. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna talk to me crazy. Mm. Just, I just that's not gonna happen. Mm. I don't care if you're my boss, superior, whoever. We can have a conversation, but you're not gonna talk to me crazy. Okay. You just can't. Okay. You, just, you just can't do that. Show, show the people how you would check. Check. What is the pivotal situation? Show, show them. It's like um, I have checked people at work. Uh -huh. uh, that's really done professionally. Okay. Um, but like out. Think of a situation. Um, oh, well, I'm going to tell you something. I've got a situation right now. Okay, okay. Who's in Florida? We'll come with the story. Kayana saw this rug she wanted in her room. Okay. I really thought it was too big for her room. But Shout okay. out to Koi. Yeah. <laughs> so I went and got it for her, and 
It was a rug, but the receipt read carpet. Okay. But it was a rug. Right. So they check in, you know, the receipt. And they said, well, this is not on here. I look and say, oh, it must be the carpet. But this is a rug, sir. I said, but it says carpet. Yeah. <laughs> and then she, well, I said, yeah. I said, so what? You think you finna stop me from leaving the store? Uh-huh. I said, no. I said, stop. I said, you're doing way too much. Yeah. For minimum wage. You're doing way too much. <laughs> I said, I'm out. And I just walked away from it. Then mm-hmm. that's, and the white guy came out like, well, sir, I said, I'm out, dude. And I just kept on walking. Because mm-hmm. I, yeah, it didn't need to go further. A uh, carpet versus a rug. Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh, my gosh. That, it, it's yeah. the same thing, though. Yeah. So it's like, but sometimes, like I said, people do extra yeah. to, for what reason, I don't know. Yeah. Especially them people, yeah, they, the people checking the receipts down, they don't play. They check they, they take their job serious. They trying to get a raise. Yeah, and they, they trying to go to the next level. Well, and they should, but you're not gonna get a raise from doing that. <laughs> you are. It's kind of like I feel. I feel like it's kind of like how police have to get a certain number of stops in a month or yeah. citations or whatever. They gotta, they gotta stop a couple people. You know, they yeah. gotta. Well, what they need to do. Uh huh. So we on Walmart. They need to let people, it should be a rule. Self-checkout, you should not have a full month of groceries in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I can't yeah, stand that. Yeah, Go yeah, get yeah. in the line. Yeah, that's what they do at Jules. They they had, when I be at Jules, they have a sign, like, you can't have this many amount of dr- groceries, like, in the self-checkout. Are they enforcing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they yeah, got a person right there saying okay, yeah, that. But Walmart, they be going crazy. But see, Walmart, they be going see, the crazy. problem with them, too, that's why they're closing. Because food's gotten high, people still it. Yeah, yeah. People are still as strong. Yeah, I I see somebody still every time I go to Walmart. Really, I be rolling. Yeah, that's because the food's too high. Yeah, everything's too high. Yeah, I had to. Uh, yeah, I stole it from Walmart. <laughs> you ain't never steal from Walmart before. Not from Walmart. <laughs> And, no, uh, I remember. I the world, no, I, I did some stuff from a big K before though when the Kmart was open. Uh huh. Because what I was getting, I, well, it was too much. Yeah. But uh. Yeah. No, I because I no, remember, it, and I I usually don't tell this story, but you know we got a special guest here today on the pod. You feel me? we're gonna have fun today, but I remember being broke, college student. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I don't even know it. we go to the same church, but it don't matter. We here, we here for the entertainment. I went to Walmart, and my girl was like, "Yo, go get some condoms or whatever." I'm like, okay, I'm finna go get them. So I went to Walmart and I seen a price. I think this was probably first the second time ever buying condoms. Okay. So I look at the price. I'm like, I, I'm like looking for the cheapest ones. I'm like, I go to the lowest. I don't even know what the name of this. I I know the big name, so I'm like, I don't trust this. Like, <laughs> I'm fairly new to intercourse so yeah. it's like okay let me let me grab this but i'm like how much, I, are, how much were they they was like 16 17 dollars are you serious yeah yeah i think i think around that range for so three no nah, i wasn't getting three i was well, getting I like 12 i mean back then it was only three packs i don't know oh it was never like 12 or yeah i guess you could but i ain't about no 12 well you always three so you just kept going back yeah, I guess because I don't, I can never remember buying a big box okay. ever. Okay, I guess. Never you. bought a big box in you. my life. Maybe sometimes you don't need them. Man. Yeah, but I just didn't. 16, I guess. You said that was a <laughs> Look, while back, huh? Yeah, no, no, so they, yeah. They got to be higher now then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so, glad, I'm glad I, you practice safe sex. Though. Yeah, that's, no, that's really I, I definitely was. So I was getting multiple things, but like I can carry them. So this is before. They had the top camera where it showed showed you doing the transaction. So, so not you. So, be, you be looking at the top camera. No, nah, <laughs> no, no. I I literally was scanning, scanning the <laughs> stuff, and then when I grabbed the condoms, I like I grabbed two things at the same time and put them through. But I just put the yeah, condoms gotcha. through. Gotcha. Put it in the bag. Yeah, I yeah. was sweating, yo. I was so, because the Walmart and Country Club Hills, they used to have people jump out on people who were stealing. Like, oh, really? Yeah, like watch oh, okay. people. Um, I don't know if they still got it, but they'll watch you on the camera, know that you're stealing, let you go out the store, grab yeah. you. Oh, so okay. I was I was scared, but I'm in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. 
So I don't think that they doing that. Yeah, so it's that, it, that's not well, you know you was there. That's that's not a are they still racist out there? I I wouldn't I they used I've, to be. I've 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 only had one racist encounter oh, okay. encounter there. Yeah. So we used to play against not two races, but I walked yeah. out and yeah. I, I so felt the next good question: about. Did you do it again? No, 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 no. Not a kind of little something else. Nah, I probably, I probably stole from the little station that we had. Like we had a little, um, what would you call it? A store, a little in commissary. A, yeah. yeah. In our little dorm area. Yeah. We used to, <laughs> we used to get them all the time. I ain't yeah. gonna lie, but I didn't, I didn't really, I wasn't a stealing type. But it's like sometimes, times was hard, so. That that bag of chips, that that juice that you put in your bag, like you will do that probably once or twice. But it was people that was going in that every week, yeah, going crazy. Like well, it's 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 serious now, man. And I'm I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but I mean the price of food is really no, man, it is a whopper is like just about seven dollars. Yeah, you might as well buy buy the whole meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, but. Yeah, I remember they ain't got no dollar menu no more. I don't even go to McDonald's like that. Like that, as soon as they took away that dollar menu, I was like, I'm cool. Yeah. I'm trying to eat better anyway. Right, man, it's been hard. Like it's been hard. Like I'm trying to not eat meat. Yeah. Like eat more vegetables. Oh, you, eat. you can do it. In fact, I'm starting my fast back uh, Tuesday, next Tuesday. Look I do that. at least twice a year. Look at that. Today I fast without without meat. Look at us. Look at us. Black man trying to yeah. get better. Look, it's Black History Month. It's Black History Absolutely. Month. Absolutely. How you feeling? I I went to school talking to the kids. I'm excited about Black History Month. I'm like, y'all excited about y'all? It's like, no, not really. I mean, I'm excited about the the trips we go on for Black History. I'm like... Yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, they have. Yeah, yeah they don't. Yeah, they need to be educated on yeah, their ancestors. Them. You have to tell them. Just, like I said, because they're not gonna know because they are, they are living, in a time where they are getting things that people fought for. So if mm. you get it, you never know what it took to get it. So. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Like, I'm afraid of generations down, like not even doing nothing for Black History Month. Like, one of my kids is like. People don't even, like, they party for Cinco de Mayo, they party for this, but I don't see no black history parties, right. like, and I thought about it, I'm like, you right, because Juneteenth, what is that, fairly new, like, the last two, three years? Nationally, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it, yeah. we've been celebrating that, but Black History Month been around, so yeah. I know we do plays, kids do field trips, uh... Different things like that, but what about actually like a celebration? Like, yeah. and I'm pretty sure people do it. Yeah, like out you said, there, but like, it's, it's not like something that, and like I think a lot of times now, um, a lot of kids and um, it's not that they don't have no sense of history; they're not interested. Mm. So as adults, we have to find a way to make it interesting and put that into them. Because, like you said, if they don't know, it's not their fault. Mm -hmm. It's the adults' fault. Okay, we have to bring that to them. So, so you're an educator. How would you, how would you do that with the kids? Oh, you see, I always do because my school is pretty much for, it's like ninety four percent Hispanic. Really? So, yeah. So okay. most of the, um, and I, I love all, all my kids, all okay. of them. But the black kids there, I make sure. Like I told, I'm gonna do something for Black History Month. I already got six black kids. I said, y'all don't do it. Uh -huh. You have a choice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have the blackest skit in black history <laughs> I, I do it every year because like yeah. i said i have to and like i say I, I wear it they they know they know when they see me mm -hmm. yeah black gonna be represented yeah, period yeah. so and that's what we gotta do yeah we black over here black the absolutely. black 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 the black all right <laughs> absolutely we gotta keep it black because honestly i just i feel like because I, I was thinking in my head of this thought of like where did the thought process of black people or black excellency or black people are so so smart, so intelligent, so this, and it puts us over people? You feel me? I feel like we are superior than most other races, but... How did, and a lot of black people think that, but how did we get to that point? You get what I'm saying? Listen, man, we are. We are. Mm -hmm. and, and other races, 
particularly Anglo-Saxon, know that and knew that. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, what a masterful thing they have they've done. Mm-hmm. Like the stealing and the brainwashing. And even though you and I, we obviously weren't slaves, mm-hmm. but the effects of slavery mm-hmm. are still present now on a mental aspect. Yeah. Even even now, um, I was <laughs> I was getting to it with a, a brother at my church. Okay. I, you know I ain't gonna say his name, but we, was, we was talking. No, you can say his name. No, you probably not, listening right now. You know, I Deacon. <laughs> wom, 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 wom. So yeah, no, we was talking about we was talking about uh, Popeyes or KFC okay. or something. Okay. And he just said, pretty much, he don't mess with no Popeyes in the hood or black Popeyes. I said, well, I said, well, I know this one here because some Popeyes, you go. I said, I said, don't generalize. I said, uh-huh. when I go, I said, no, no, you're generalizing now. Yeah. You said so. There is no Popeyes around black people. That's, I said that's not true. Yeah. Well, my experience. I said no, but you're generalizing. Uh-huh. And see, I don't care. I I don't let white people generalize black people. Right. I definitely don't let nobody black do it. Now I understand you had a bad experience there, but when you say I only go to Popeyes in certain areas, to me that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Now I do know certain Popeyes, because like I said, even like the one uh, praise God for Harvey. Mm-hmm. That Popeyes and Harvey mm-hmm. on Wood, they straight, but something they ain't gonna have. Uh-huh. <laughs> they ain't gonna have no strawberry jelly. Uh-huh. They gonna have no sparkle, <laughs> or they gonna say only take care. They gonna get the food. Uh-huh. There's always something there, but that's one. Yeah. So it's not. Nah, it's uh. You know what I'm saying. I would have to give you a little pushback on that because it is certain locations. So is he saying that he don't go to these locations because of black people or their service? Because I've been to Absolutely. some locations in Markham, Harvey, Blue Island, all over there. Yeah. That I go there. It ain't never no chicken tenders. It ain't no spicy yeah, now, nothing. Sir, now it ain't no red beans and Absolutely. rice. Oh, hey, can I get some sweet heat sauce? All we got is honey. Honey, y'all ain't got no hot sauce. Yes, but see, like, no, and I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying that's that he's wrong. Uh-huh. But you have to change the statement. Let's say from my experience, mm. boom. Then, but when you say none of them, you're generalizing. Okay, that's, that's what my pushback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and and I hope people are kind. Of, well, I'm not as bad as my daughter. Uh-huh. She called corporate on everything. For real, <laughs> she called corporate on anything. Seriously, she literally called corporate for real. If something up, but yeah, and I'm just saying we we have to do better. Because mm. I mean, I'm not saying I support you just because you're black. If you're mm. black, you need to handle your business. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to support you just because you're black. If you handle your business, I rock with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that. Now, Kiana, first birthday. Her wife, first she, birthday. Her first birthday. Okay. I, I record everything. I still okay. got it. Like, oh, you got the VHS. Oh, yeah. But Ooh. actually, I had an 8 millimeter camera. Okay. The little small tapes. I got to get a transfer. She wanted to have a black clown. That's okay. She found please have black clowns. Mm-hmm. Your, your, your wife deposit. or Koya? My, my wife. Okay. Kiana okay. won. Gotcha. Okay. So, you know, so she got yeah. it. The brother came late as I don't know what. Mm-hmm. Wasn't even ready. Mm. Didn't even shave his little shadow off, so the white makeup was all. It didn't look right. Mm. We had some little hood <laughs> kids there. They were like, "You ain't no clown." Oh my you god! No so, dude was talking about then. Yeah, the, the balance is. I said, "No, there is no balance." Oh, dude, you didn't play. You, you didn't. 40, I ain't paid the balance. It was forty-five minutes late. Oh my nah, gosh! Dude. Oh, so you just subtracted from? No, that was it. You didn't pay nothing. It was. I think it was. I want to say it was one fifty. Mm-hmm. I think we put put down seventy five. I think, but I know I ain't paid the balance. The party was over by the time he came. Got the, he was really there for fifteen minutes. Oh, really? I okay. I said, I holler at you. Okay. I mean, what, what and you? What gonna, he said? Well, I'll talk. I said, you can talk to whoever. What you gonna do? What he gonna do? Yeah. Did you gonna take it? Yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> I was real ignorant during that time. Yo, that yeah. remind me of Homie the Clown. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Homie don't but he play wasn't even that. Funny. Well, he homie was funny. Right. He wasn't even funny. He wasn't funny. What What did he do? He didn't do... He did some little... He did a couple little tricks. Uh, he had like... Make them little... You know, the little balloons, the animal balloons. Mm-hmm. And... I'm gonna find a tape to find it. It was, yeah. Oh my God. Koyana. Dang. Gosh. You see what your parents got you for your first birthday? I hope the second birthday was, oh, was better. Man, listen... <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm I'm throw you in this here. I always tell people, well, you know, you know who the Rat Pack is, huh? The who? The Rat Pack. Who was that? I'll teach you something. It's, it's old. Shit. These folks, look, they, forty years old to me. Okay. Well, I know you heard of like Frank Sinatra. Yeah. Dean Martin. 
Uh, Sammy yeah. Davis Jr. and them, uh-huh. they ran Vegas in the 50s and 60s. They ran it. They were like the men. Okay. They were like the Rat Pack. Okay. So they, they all lived a, they died, they lived a good life. They was rich and paid. I say nobody lived a better life, lived a better life than Frank Sinatra, mm. Dean Martin, and BT Babies. Mm. <laughs> BT Babies, man. Y'all, man, listen. <sighs> listen, man. I'm telling you, man, the Reverend Doctor and Corn Now with Pastor Jeff, man, y'all have been good. I mean, so, I mean, to the point. Y'all don't even realize I've been other spots. No, yeah. So, so like I say, Cleanna's birth, man. Look, yeah, Cleanna's yeah. lived the life. Yeah, for sure. We she, de- she we definitely life. privileged for sure because, like, I mean, y'all. It's not only BT; it's the people in BT. It's yeah. like you and uh, Miss Jones, like the parents that yeah. raised the kids in BT. Absolutely. Like we all, yeah. Grew up like good, so I mean it was really y'all. Like shout out to BT, but y'all really make BT what it is. That's why I made that post. I don't know if you saw it. I was so proud of you and Vicky running Hallelujah Night. Uh huh. And I remember y'all used to be the ones in it. Yeah. Trick or treat. Yeah. I mean trunk or treat. Uh I thought that was awesome. No, it that That was was definitely dope. Like it was. was Leading up to that, and also that actually the day itself was smooth, but leading up to that day it was a little stressful. <laughs> yeah. uh, me and Victoria, we was that because it's I weird. was really leading it. But shout out to Victoria, uh, she really, she really helped me. She helped me a lot, and um, she she really had my back because she's that type of person that's always gonna have a person's back. You feel me? Even though sometimes she may not feel like it, she gonna be like, I do it for you because I got love for you. And yeah. I feel like that's another thing with the BT babies. Like we all got love for each other. Like yeah. even like I I was at Walmart the other day, I seen Sam. Okay. Because you yeah. know his uh I think his grandma just passed away. Oh no, I didn't know that. Yeah, like oh, recently? They, yeah, they said it at, at church. Okay. I don't wanna get it wrong. It was either one of his grandparents, but okay. I was just, I seen him. I was like, sorry for your loss. You know, we was chopping it up a bit and we went our separate ways, but yeah. it's just like seeing a person that you, you know, grew up with Absolutely. in the church, like always having that support system. Like I, I tell people all the time, like if I call you or I call Reverend Stevens or I call yeah. anybody in the church, like I know they pick up and they'll try their best to help me right. if my parents cannot. So yeah. shout out to y'all. Uh, Shout out to BT. Shout out to Black History Month. Shout out Absolutely. to everybody that celebrates Black History Month. I mean, it's a real thing. Yeah, you want to throw a party? <laughs> hey, huh? you, you got the ends? No, nah, listen, I got the ends and the outs. Okay, know? they let's, gotta, I gotta let's make go. it happen. Let's make it happen. But yeah, uh, let's switch over to some sports. Yes, sir. The Lakers. Yeah, you see what I got on right yes, here. Right. We are both Lakers fans. Yeah. Uh, let's start off before we start off with the current Lakers. How did you become a Lakers fan? Oh, that's simple. Uh, eight years old, 1979. Mm. When Michigan State beat Indiana State. Mm. Magic. Woo. They were Magic got drafted to the Lakers. That's my squad. That's how I started. Mm. That's simple. Yep. Magic. Magic. He was that nice? Man, listen. Yes. Have, and, you, have you ever seen Winning Time on HBO Max? I, I couldn't really watch it. It was kind of... Uh, because you grew up on that. And so I you. knew, so I, yeah. And I knew a lot of the stuff, and yeah. But for me, it was just like... It was crazy, like I said. I mean, he won... In four years, he won three titles at three different levels. Mm. High school, Michigan State, and his rookie year. Yeah. I mean, three different levels. But yeah, but Magic, That's he's the reason why I became a Laker fan, period. It's just it's that simple. Okay, so we got Magic Johnson... On to the current Lakers. Now, the Lakers situation, um, they're currently looking for trading options for either D'Angelo Russell, D'Angelo Russell, Gabe Vincent, Rui Hachimura, uh, and some first-round picks. Uh, Jackson Hayes has been th- thrown into yeah. a couple of trade rumors. But the last 10 games, the last 10, 11 games, the, the Lakers are 8-4. and four. On Thursday, I forget who they play, but that's the day that Kobe is putting. They putting up the Kobe statue. Yeah. They wearing the Mamba jerseys. Yeah. So I think that this that game, if they win that game, that can be a really good turning point for the season. 
What do you think? Do you think we should trade for anybody? Because it's been players like uh, DeJounte Murray from the Hawks, um, the shooter I forget from Detroit. They not really using it. Detroit is trash this year. Uh, It's been some rumors around Kyrie. The Mavericks just came out, or it's been rumors that the Mavericks – they seen what a full year of Kyrie and Luka look like, and they're not really feeling it, so they're looking to, you know, get rid of Kyrie. It's a lot of things they were thinking about bringing back Caruso. Like, when it comes to the Lakers, like, uh the heaven gates just be open of a plethora of trade options that can happen. Yeah. And this, it seems to be happening every year, especially now that LeBron James is on this team. It's, well, for one thing, well, if you can get Kyrie, now, see, I'm, first, I think they should stand pat unless you can get – if you get Kyrie and just his history with LeBron, mm-hmm. I would look at that. But if you're not going – because we need shooting. I love DeJounte Murray. I always liked him. Mm-hmm. But with defensively, yeah, we can use him defensively. He's not a great, great shooter. Mm-hmm. We need shooting and defensive guys on the wing. And um, to get Kyrie, yeah. But if you can't get Kyrie and we got a 29 first-round pick, LeBron's not going to be playing in 29, like at least off the Lakers. Mm-hmm. So, and we really got no picks in between then. Yeah. So, to give up an unprotected 20, first round pick, it got to be something. I mean, and they're really trying to hold on to, to Reeves, but if you got something, it got to be something legit. It can't be like no washing the pan trade. Mm-hmm. But see, you see, when they lock in, want to play D, like they took the in season tournament so serious. And I'm like, which I'm not a big big fan. I mean, it was good for fan interest. Yeah, yeah. But don't, I wasn't I, a big don't, fan. Don't either. raise no banner for that. Yeah, yeah. Stop. We no, don't. We but, don't even put our Western Conference Finals on banner. Right, but they made them do that. They the NBA made them do that. The Lakers came out and said they were not hang, hanging any bangers, ba- banners, but silver. I think he made that call. I don't know, man. I don't think the Lakers. Put I that would. On. I would say that if Stern, that's that's not like if Genie Bus would be like. We don't want to do that. I can't see them making them. I don't know. I Like I said, you might know somebody over. I can't. But my thing was, and the way they played during that stretch, man, mm-hmm. defensively is what I'm talking about. But what's scary, though, what bothers me, LeBron's phenomenal what he's been doing. Mm-hmm. But his play now, as phenomenal as it is, it does not have the same impact on winning mm. like it once did. Mm. That's... Because this games, he, I mean, he, he got to be going home like, wait a minute. I'm doing everything, but we're still not winning. And with AD playing right, so I think those guys got to step up. Like you said, 8-4, I think we should stay packed. Mm. And it's, but it's something, there's a disconnect somewhere. It's a disconnect somewhere. I, I, I agree with that because I can see, because LeBron has played a number of games this season where he's looked really good, but they just lose. Yeah. I think. That he shouldn't, as far as his minutes, he shouldn't be playing over 26 minutes because if we have players on the floor that's doing what they need to do, I think D'Angelo Russell, I think we should keep him because he is doing so much for our team. And when LeBron James is not on the floor, the combination of him and Reeves, like I follow a lot of uh, Lakers yeah. uh, accounts on Twitter and they be posting all type of stats and they post it like the stats of which players on the floor have the best yeah. plus minus and yeah. stuff. And in, in, in the top five, Reeves and yeah. and D'Lo like yeah. on the floor is in in all of those yeah. top fives. It's just so it's just like I said, what you're saying is true, man. If those guys they have to do it, man, because right now LeBron, I still think he's playing too many minutes. Mm-hmm. But if he's not playing, right, a lot of times <laughs> he go out the game, we up eight, come back in, we down six. Yeah, they yeah. have to be able to that happens a lot. I'm telling you, something, he's been hurt every year in L.A. He's been hurt every year in L.A. But it's not, I mean, he's 39 years old. But actually, he's really 45 mm. with the number of minutes of he has played since mm. 18, the, the All-Star Games, the Olympics, mm-hmm. all those things. So he really has a, more miles on him. And he's in phenomenal shape. But the body is not meant to be like that, mm-hmm. to do that. So 
I just hope he can maintain. If those guys step up, then Darvin Ham can pull back a little bit. Yeah, because I feel like we have the defenders. Uh, we may need one beca- one more because Vanderbilt is going to be yeah. out for like four weeks. Yep. But um, if we can't get that, I think the two main things that we need is a big man and a scorer. So if we can get Kyrie, I'm cool with that. I still I still don't see why like like players like Dwight Howard or DeMarcus Cousins. I don't see why they're out the league. Man, like listen. I and I don't only say those two names because I'm thinking of the people who won a championship last year. I need some I because what I seen last year, I don't like how people would I don't like the comments that was made about Anthony Davis. I get that you're supposed to be all worldly, but for his body, for him to be at his best, he cannot every play go play hard, really hard defense on Jokic and then be expected to score the ball down here and do that so consistently. Well, I need a big body on Jokic. I'm thinking about Jokic and yeah, players absolutely. like that. You know what? Well, it, that's twofold. Uh, that is that's the expectation though, and you know what? I don't I don't think they're wrong for it because see the mistake they made. I had a problem. They talk about the bubble, whatever. When nobody, no. Nah, if you showed up, you was trying to win. So I don't hit no bubble championship. Yeah, they won it. Yeah, that year we were so big, and the way Dwight and Javale McGee was playing, Pope had a shooter play D Caruso. Mm. Those got man, that squad. Danny we Green. We had defenders. We had defenders. Oof. So you get rid of all that because you want to pay. So yeah, Anthony Davis is not meant. He's not the type of player to like bang his joke. He's mm-hmm. not. But dude, we ain't got nobody else. Yeah. So you're right. I do think Cousins and Dwight because Dwight always stayed in shape. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Abby, I would love if he was a Laker again because yeah. then he realized what his role was. Yeah. First time he was with it. He still thought he was something else. That's what him yeah. and Kobe to get along. Mm-hmm. And I was mad. They had a big billboard in L.A. Please stay. Man, we ain't got to beg nobody to be no Laker. Yeah, yeah, Food yeah. bounce. Yeah. I was like, man, forget him. I don't beg yeah. you to be a Laker. I'll mm-hmm. holler at you. Hey, that's not who we are, man. Like nah. he said, we don't even hang Western Conference no, Finals, man. Never did. Like, what are we talking about? We we want players that want to come here and compete, no matter what is said about you. Just come here, compete, and work hard. Because... That's that's who we are, man. But I, I, man, you just brought up JaVale McGee and Dwight Howard, and I think that's what what's a great success for an NBA champion, and I think it'll be that way for years until people figure out how to beat it. So I think, and I've said this multiple times, if you can play small ball and big ball, like you can, you can win. And and play defense like you can win it all. Like because if you plan a team that goes small like Miami, you can switch over. You don't have to play, you know, JaVale McGee or Dwight Howard, but now you going against a bigger team, the Nuggets. Oh, now you can hide them out there. Like uh, I know this is a video game, but on two K it be working <laughs> for me. I put LeBron at the point. And I'm just talking about for the, that team that won the championship. I put LeBron at the point. I put KCP at the two. Kuzma at the three. Um, actually, sometimes, which will sound crazy, I put AD at the three, Dwight at the four, and well, J- JaVale at the five. Yeah. That's what I mean because yeah, I see though. Anthony Davis guarding uh, he two, guarding three. School. He grew. He was 6'1". For, yeah. I saw him, so he grew. But, no, that makes it. But you know what, though? Teams, Golden State, fool a lot of teams. They could play like that, cause, but they had passers and shooters. Mm-hmm. See, when you go little and you got big guys, punish them. Yeah, Punish them on the office of glass. Put them, you can get them in foul trouble, get them in the penalty every quarter because they're little. They try to match. They You can't beat them playing their style because you can't shoot like them. So when teams start playing that small ball, I mean, man, punish they little behinds. Yeah, and you just you just reminded me of Darvin Ham. I feel like he don't be putting the right lineups out here. I be feeling like we should be the aggressor, not adjust to whatever they doing. Make them adjust to us. So I'm finna put this like when he wasn't playing Christian Wood for a span, I was like, what are you doing? Okay, I'm gonna tell you this here. You know, like I said, am I a little biased? Yeah. 
Darvin is my, my man. You from know Sag- him? Yeah, Sag Sag Nasty from Saginaw. Oh my Play, god, Sag, Sag Nasty. Nasty stand up. <laughs> but listen, no, but seriously, on this tip, uh, like we used to play summer ball together. But he's Darvin is, is a dog, man. Mm-hmm. And Christian Wood can play. That don't mean he's a good coach. Uh, no, no. Listen to what I'm saying. Okay. See, this is what I think. That's why when I go to games, I don't talk about coaches. See, I can't talk about a coach at a game. Mm-hmm. I could talk about it if I go to his practice. Okay. That's where you coach. You coach at practice. In games, you're facilitating making adjustments. Now, for Christian Wood, who can play and not plan, is something else. So it's something in practice. Oh, it's something. Yes, it's something. He he did like this. Let me know where his mind was the other day when AD didn't play. I forgot who Darvin started. I think it was Jackson Hayes. Yeah. Okay. He goes to the locker room and tweets like, "Wow, see that that right there shows me mm-hmm. where you are here." Yeah. That's why you ain't you ain't playing. Yeah, and he tried to clean it up like, "Oh, I meant to type something else." But the why are you typing correct? anything? You about to play a game? <laughs> so, so for me, no. And I'm not saying, like I said, he's he's been in the league do, doing this thing, a uh, coaching. So yeah, we can say, hey, maybe you probably should do this, but. As for him not to play, that kid can play. It's it's something else. Mm, it's something okay. else. See. Don't know if he ain't working hard. Maybe you know, these kids now a lot of them they they, they roll their eyes like girls sometimes. Mm. Grown men, straight females. Stop yep. acting like females. So like, you heard him. Stop. L. A. We better than this. Yeah. So as the season goes on, we go into the All Star break. Let's see. We have probably All Star is. The weekend after the Super Bowl, Super Bowl. Yeah. so yeah. that means we got four or five more games left. Let's see, we we went four out of five going into the All Star break, yeah. um, and we make no trade. How do you think we're looking going into the NBA NBA playoffs and looking to make a push or the Play, championship? Playing like this here, I mean, this is bad. Playing like this here. We'll be fighting for a play in. Mm. How we looking now? But although you know they've been playing better, but right, like, but, they have. But, but they're so they're so inconsistent. If we stay packed like we're doing now, I have no, I have no concerns. I think we could beat anybody doing that. Mm-hmm. But um, those role guys, they they have to continue. Like I said, D'Lo. Like I, said, I like D'Lo too. Mm. And he one of our best shooters. He's right now he last game shooting forty five percent. Yeah. So those guys gotta just continue to step up. Cross fingers that AD don't get hurt. Please, please don't <laughs> get hurt. Like the last game when they was playing the Hornets, he was backing somebody down. They called a foul, and then he bent over, oh, fulfilling his yeah. shoulder. I'm like, what? Yeah, but it was a little tweak, but I'd I be taking deep breaths like Every whenever time. he he get hit or something. And it's like. never like a clothesline, like a real hard fight. It's always something freakish. Mm. He need to be putting bubble wrap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> LA, please make the right decision. Rob Palinka, please don't trade D'Angelo Russell. I wanna I feel like he's a Laker at heart and he's really yeah. built for this. I don't wanna invite nobody in that's really not built yeah. for these lights. I put on that purple gold. Yes, lights. It is very hard, Those especially lights. if you get traded and the next ten games you don't shoot well at all. These Lakers fans is gonna get on you. The the, the Le, LeBron going to be in the locker room, give me a little side eye, or come on. Come on. I've seen LeBron, even even with uh the newbie, Max Christie. Yeah. Like, he didn't made a couple mistakes. LeBron, like, yeah. come on. Like, I, uh, you, like cussing him out. Like, LeBron, he, he can cuss a little bit when he yeah. getting under, under you. So, yeah. what you think about Max Christie before we move on? I like him. You do? I, I like him. I think I continue to play him, continue to give him confidence. I, I like him. I think he got a bright future. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. You think like so. you said, that purple gold might be too much. Yeah. Those Maybe. lights are a little bright. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? Uh, what you think about the Bucks? Man, look. Dame Luda and, and the Bucks. I like them, but like I said, I'm not tripping so much defensively because you lost Drew. So it's going to take a back. But my biggest thing with them is something is not clicking. But like even when they got rid of Griffin, they were they was thirty and thirteen, mm-hmm. still second in the East. And I, well, Doc was already already there as a mm-hmm. consultant. Okay. Mm, 
Now I'm not saying there's some uh, some BS in the game, uh-huh. but how you the consultant? It just it it seems kind of fishy it's, to me. Yeah, it's politics. Yeah, it's politics. So, but yeah, but Doc, and Doc ain't got a great record, man, in the playoffs. He lost some three one leagues. I, I like Doc. I really do. Mm-hmm. He lost some three one leagues. You know, he was a pretty good player when he played, but there's something something is missing, man. Mm-hmm. Something's missing. Yeah, I re- they because they were showing the old clip of when um he was on the Celtics coaching the Celtics and yeah. Phil Jackson was coaching the Lakers. Yeah, they was playing the game and Phil Jackson made a comment going into the for- fourth quarter like he said something along the lines like they're the worst fourth quarter team in in the league and they they love losing games like they want to lose games <laughs> in the fourth quarter or something like that. So it was just more telling towards Doc Rivers because yeah. you the one of the greatest coaches saying this about your team and yeah. it's like Yeah, but sometimes you gotta take what Phil said with a greatest start too though. Because, mm-hmm. like I think he's I'm, well obviously he's a good coach, but I look at him a little different as a coach. Mm. But like he could not well for me, I think he's great with manipulating personalities. Okay. I think he's great with that. I don't. I don't think he's a better coach than Doc Rivers. I don't think he's a better coach than Larry Brown. Coach. Mm. I don't think he could coach successfully in college. I don't think he can coach successfully if a team that did not have great players. Now I'm not saying he won because he had great players. Obviously, you need great players to play. But he is. I mean, he was a master mm-hmm. of getting people to do. Because he was an unorthodox, so I, I respect him in that regard. And that's what you do, because at the pro level, it's a player's game. Right. And you have to be able to manipulate grown men, whereas college, it's a coach's game. Right. You know, so. But I ain't, I ain't dissing uh, Phil. That's just my opinion about him as, as a coach. And he's he's a liberal racist, too. That's how I feel about him. Mm. A liberal racist. A liberal racist, but yeah. he led Shaq and Kobe to three, though. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, ab- absolutely. I'm not doubting him as a coach. Uh-huh. That, that's my whole point. What he can do with personalities, uh-huh. because they that whole beat. But as far as coaching the team, now when you say he's not a better coach than them, like what? What's the difference? Like, could the other? Do you think the other coaches can lead certain teams where no. Phil Jackson? No, can't? no, I, I, I don't. Okay. I really don't, but I do think this here. Like for instance, to me, I think I think Sharon Lou's the best coach in the NBA now. To to yeah. me, yeah. And we he should the, be the Laker coach. Yes. But they said he had they had a picking staff. Mm. Here he's a championship coach. You telling him you got to they gonna pick your staff? Mm-hmm. That's insulting. He said, "No, I'm I'm good. Yeah, I'm Gucci on that." So, yeah. but no, and I'm like I said, I don't want to see like I'm disrespected feel as a coach. I'm really not. Uh-huh. I'm really not because. Like I said, Doug Collins basketball, I think was a good coach, but he didn't know how to. He let Jordan do everything, mm-hmm. whereas Phil came in. See, people think Phil brought the triangle. Mm-hmm. It was Tex Winter. Mm. This is called, It wasn't Phil. Right. Tex Winter had the triangle offense. You know what I'm saying? So he knew how to manipulate. Get. get I mean, think about it. Robin couldn't have went and played for nobody else during that time. Who? Dennis Rodman? Oh, yeah, yeah, But that was Phil yeah, Jackson. Yeah. Phil Jackson knows uh, yeah. how to manipulate. Shaq and Kobe. So, so, right. So, so give Phil Jackson the right personnel, he'll get it done. Oh, yeah. A- absolutely. Okay. Absolutely, you. he will. Okay. Absolutely. Got you. So, you said two things. Um, was a, I was going to bring up one thing, but Ty Lu with the Clippers. What yeah. do you think about the Clippers? Because you brought up his Ooh. coaching style, and he is managing them well. I still think they're not going to go to the NBA Finals because I'm going to always stand on my point of you cannot have two or three people on the same floor that play the same position. Well, I don't think you can th- – that's a recipe for a championship team. But the way Ty Lue is coaching them, like it seems like James Harden and Kawhi Leonard are the one in the two. Man, listen, I'm going to tell you something. This is what he, Ty Lue said. He said, give me 10 games to figure this out. Mm-hmm. See, here's the thing. James Harden has really been playing like this the last four years. When yes, he was in yes. Brooklyn, 
He was hoping. Yeah. But with that stuff with Kyrie, we're not taking the, you know. So I think now, and what the biggest thing for them, when Westbrook said, I will come off the bench. He's the leader of that team. Westbrook is the leader of that team. Mm-hmm. He fights. So the way Tyloo got them playing, like you said, Kawhi and Jay Hart, they harmony and and George is doing his thing. If they can, the biggest thing with them is health. Mm-hmm. If they can stay healthy, man. I mean, I think they can go to the West Conference Finals minimum if they're healthy. Mm. If they're healthy, I don't know how they beating stopping Yoke is going to be tough. But that's going to be tough for anybody. But man, they got some heat, man. Yeah, I, I I think it's good for the regular season. It's just I don't see it in in the playoffs. I feel like if James Harden. I think the person that really got to prove me wrong is James Harden. Yeah, like, yeah. he has to show up in, in the, the playoffs. playoffs. Yeah. If he don't show up he in the playoffs, yep. it's going right. to force them to deviate. Like, imagine if they just go on a run. Let's say even if they get first seed in the, yeah. in the Western Conference. They did that with James Harden playing well. Yeah. Now we going into a series where they game planning for you. They take James Harden out of it. He's not playing as well. I'm not saying Paul George or Kawhi. No, you're right. Or even Westbrook can't step up, but it's like James you take Harden. away that, it's, it's throwing something off. Oh, no. Bit. If they take that away, they can't win. Yeah. You're absolutely right. And yeah. you're right. He has not shown it in the playoffs. So He has not. No, that's that's a good point. That's that's what I really want to say. And back to the Lakers real quick. Lamar Odom made a statement because you brought up the triangle. He yeah. suggested that the current Lakers should do the triangle. What do, what do you think? No. No. No, I don't. But I tell you something. The reason why, because it's going to take the ball out of LeBron's hand too much, mm-hmm. and I don't think they have enough. Well, I think Reeves will be good in the triangle. Okay. I don't think they have really enough uh, cerebral people to really consistently do that. Uh-huh. And that's that's not nothing you can just throw in. Uh-huh. You can't throw in the triangle now. Okay, yeah, mid season. It's no. so many man intricate things. Because I mean, I actually tried it. Mm-hmm. To watch the text with and stay out. Watch, man. It's it's. Oh, hard. you tried it from a coaching yes. perspective. Okay. It's. I mean, it's a beautiful and it was perfect for the Bulls. It was perfect for. Yeah. But at the end of the day, when they go through all the cuts and everything, it gets everyone involved. But at the end of the day, they ran a triangle in New York when Fisher was coached there, uh-huh. but you didn't have Michael a Kobe. Yeah. So it's a good offense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good offense if you don't have talent. To be honest with you, mm-hmm. then everybody get involved. But no, they they should do the triangle. Okay. No, I, I don't should agree with do that. The- Okay, so you know we talked about every anything, any NBA takes you want to get out real quick. Do you do you feel like the NBA is is getting better from the last ten years? And what differences have you seen from what you grow up watching better versus in, in, now? In terms of what, like uh, games, like the competition in games, the way players are playing. Um, the way the game is moving, more three pointers, less yeah. twos. Yeah. What are you thinking? Well, I don't want to sound like the old man get off of my lawn, mm-hmm. but I would say this here: talent wise, the NBA has never been this talented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I ne- was just talking about that: the seventy been, points, the yeah, sixty yeah, points. Just, I mean, now it's a lot of reasons for that. For that, that too, people really aren't unguarded. But a lot of these guys. And now you really can't touch. Uh huh. Yeah. And yeah. so, guys are so skilled. Mm-hmm. If you can't put a body on them, you, I don't care who you're you gonna get torched. That's yeah. how it is. But I would say this here: an issue I have, and it goes all the way back. And I actually saw this coming really like 20 years ago, from the AAU circuit. Okay. I really did because what has happened now. A lot of guys aren't being taught how to play because mm. AAU they play more games yeah. than practice. The fundamentals, so, yeah, and so that's and that's why the, one reason why they're going to Europe to get a lot of those guys because they're more fundamentally sound. Mm. And plus, still white people are paying for the tickets, so you still want to see somebody who look like you out there. So yeah, yeah. But I I think the game is in a dangerous place though because this next collective bargaining agreement is going to be vital. The owners ain't gonna play because, like the even like the low management piece. I mean, it's it's getting to the point, and I want these guys. They 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 might be messing it up for the next generation of ball players, like sixth graders, like not fifth graders. Mm. That's why I love Ant Man. Mm. He has the right mentality, man. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. he wants to play. 
He want to hoop, man. Yeah. Every every day. That's how Kevin Durant is. He yeah. don't trip on them. You know, his leadership is questionable, but mm -hmm. he he just want to hoop. Yeah, That's yeah, a, yeah, but yeah. if you're the best player, you can't just hoop. Yeah. That's the thing with Kawhi. I said, yeah. Kawhi is not, you still have to be, if you're the, be, the best player don't always have to be a leader, mm -hmm. but you still got to say something. Yeah. And who say he's not saying about, I, to me, I don't think he's a great leader. He's the lead by the way he played, but yeah. teach his own. Yeah, that's what, that's why he was asking the other day, like, why why am I not in people's uh, Mount Rushmore? Why ain't, Mount Rushmore of what? Yeah, yeah he, he, he asked. He said that? Yeah, he asked, why am I not being talked about in the conversation with Jordan and LeBron? Well, first, you got you to play games. Yeah. That's first. Uh -huh. That's that's number one. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, no, you and I, I love Kawhi, man. Uh -huh. I, I really do, but stop. Uh -huh. No, that, no, you're not in that in that conversation. Of course, no, that, I said KD, not Kawhi. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, Kevin okay, Durant, okay. yeah, Kevin well, Durant you know said this. I was here about Kevin Durant. He might be the most efficient scorer. I mean, he can have like 38 points on 14 shots. Mm -hmm. But I think what what it is is that other that other piece, like the leadership piece for me. And I, I love actually. He's always one of my favorite players. Mm -hmm. My favorite player to watch was always Steph. He's just entertaining. Steph's just entertaining. Yeah, to watch yeah, play. yeah, yeah. But yeah, Katie, but no, you would never be in that conversation. And you have yet still to win without Steph. Yeah, yeah. And I understood why he left. But for me, I'm like, it would have been hard for me to leave and go to someone who just beat me. And y'all had him up 3-1. I'm just, I'm just a little uh, different, man. People are too yeah. cool for me, man. Yeah. They just too, and I'm not saying you can't be friends. It's, no, I, I don't. I don't like that, man. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. too cool. I like, yeah. I like them about to box. Yeah, I like that. competitive. Like just like no, like we gonna bunker down. I'm gonna talk to my my people over here at OKC. We gonna get it done. Whatever we need to do to get back to this position, we gonna get it done. That's my mindset. Yeah. But it's like for you to do that, I understand why Westbrook was mad. Like yeah, but like, yeah. but he did, but he even tell. I mean, like he just he should have took Westbrook and said, "Look at dog." Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But hey, you do what you want to do. Hey, you got got your two rings. Again, you was clearly the best player. It kind of messed up basketball for two years because no, wasn't nobody gonna beat them during mm -hmm. that time. Yeah. Nobody was gonna beat them. Yeah. And they they had to go get them though. Yeah. Because they weren't gonna beat LeBron again. Nah. <laughs> that nah. was not gonna happen. Nah. That was not gonna happen. You know. Yeah. So. After that one win, LeBron found it, but then KD shocked the world, and I think LeBron, he. Yeah. yeah, he respect him, man. He got yeah. it. Boy, got game. Yeah, but we're going to switch it over to some entertainment. Not really entertainment. This ain't... You want entertaining the masses with this. I don't know what happened, but Drake... <laughs> oh, my gosh. And I'm glad that I touched on this towards the end of this podcast. Like, <laughs> what? Bruh, who are you sending this to? So, we talked about it off mic. Um... I told you it was a video leaked of Drake. So he basically spread out on his on his bed. They said he was on his jet. You ever seen his his plane is real big. Uh -uh. So he got a real huge plane that okay. was given to him by like a billionaire. Okay. Um, And he in the bed on the jet laid out, got his Johnson out and he taking the video. And this is not for the masses to see. But I'm pretty sure he sent it to a girl. Hopefully. Hopefully. Because some <laughs> sometimes, like, well, artists, it's really called, a, like, a rollout. So, like, if they're coming out with a project or if they're coming yeah. out with a clothing line or, like, they'll do something Just, extra yeah, to, to get, roll yeah. it out. Absolutely. Now, I'm not saying you did this, Drake, on purpose. I'm saying that it, it's a little timely. After the Grammys... It was a whole bunch of so uh, talk there. He, he's coming out with something. I don't know. Like he did. He he just came out with um. What's that album called? His last album. Yeah. Um. But it, just to see this on the internet and people like girls are talking about it, but I seen guys commenting on it. Like, man, I can see why they look like. Yeah, that's a bit much. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, man. It's uh. Yeah, but you know this. I mean, you ain't had to deal with that because back in the day, yo, what y'all ain't really y'all ain't had no phones or man, nothing, right? Dude, listen, it wasn't no social man, media. Listen. He he talking about grew up in the seventies, eighties, dude. Yeah, man, look, hey, man, you 
it is it's funny, and but people still knew stuff. Mm-hmm. But it was always like word of mouth. It's funny now, like with your phone, like for cell phones. If you go into the mall, you call the house. It was nothing. Yeah, talk to you when I get back home. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So now with everyone have a phone, everyone have access to every single thing. Mm-hmm. And like I tell people, even when you delete something, it's still in cyberspace. It can still be retracted. So it just it's a it's a strange time. It's I mean. Things have changed even so much, even since you was just a teen. Yeah. That quickly. Yeah. And like, I mean, just like, what, what you're 25 now? 26. Yep, see, just turned 26. So, I mean, the last 10 years, stuff the kids are doing now, it's even worse when you were in high school. Yeah. Because they had access. Like, the access to porn now is insane. Yeah. Whereas, growing up, it was always like, maybe like one porn tape. In the hood, mm. everybody passed around. Oh, really, it wasn't. It was no access to like, like it is now. Yeah, but so yeah, because now you could just go buy the new, the new Apple goggles, and yeah. you could watch it on there. I don't know, man. What, what are you yeah, talking about? The Apple, the you ain't seen the the goggles people been. Do you have some? Where, no, I ain't got none. People watch porn on the on the Google Doc on the goggles. Yeah, on the goggles. How you know? It's been videos. Okay. Of, I, yeah. I, I don't you, know you, do you know? Do you know who Slim Thug is? Yeah, I know Slim Thug. Yeah, is. yeah. So he recently posted a video. He was in bed. He was like, "Yo, these goggles so cold." Da da da. And he said, "I'm finna go watch, watch, <laughs> watch porn." Yeah, big, big Slim Thug. Yeah, but it's like oh, it's going hard. from there to I like mean, having. Too much. Pe- I've seen people. These this is a new rave right now. These Apple goggles, like, really? but they're really nice. Like they. So they do so many things. So I seen this man in his house and he was like watching TV right here next to his couch. So he turned the TV right there and then it's a it's a YouTube browser up right here of him doing something. Then he go into the kitchen. It's a little video on how to cook this in the kitchen. Yeah. And it's also a little so it's like where wherever you turn, you can place these things oh, wow. on wherever you want to place them and they stay there so when you're walking around it's like it is where it is in real life but it's just on the google so he has something on the refrigerator like notes or something he oh, went wow. to write on the refrigerator it was uh, real nice uh, no i mean man technology is and like it's moving well i just i don't know this has nothing to do with that but like i took uh sis jones on a birthday to sandbox vr Oh, Ooh, dude, we went there too. Which, which, uh, oh, uh, we did, under, we we did the zombie one. Which the zombie, the house or the uh or the city? Cause they got not two. the city, the other one, you, the house. No, okay, we, yeah. we we actually did the did the city. Oh, uh, the city. How was that, dude? Dude, that was like <laughs> man, and it was, and you know, it's crazy. Like when you get bit or something, your body turned white. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, you gotta tap them. Yeah. So, I got bit, yeah. and I'm thinking Lawanda owns some. I said, "Hey, hey, come, come get me." She said, "Nigga, I'm bit, I'm bit too." <laughs> so the lady had to come out there, too. but yeah, it was, it was so much fun, man. Uh-huh. <clears throat> it was so much fun, it's so real. So I'm saying all that to say, technology is amazing, man. It was going on. What I don't like though, this AI stuff. I saw this Jordan the other day. It was Jordan voice, mm-hmm. everything, and it had him saying, "I must admit, I am not the goat." But Brian James is. It was his voice and everything. I said, even Jordan thought that he was say that. Oh I'm my like, god, it's, it's too much, man. Yo, nah, it's crazy. It's crazy that, that they it's too much. they just had to uh ban somebody that uh put out that Taylor uh what's her name Taylor Swift yeah. picture because when um. I forgot before they faced the Chiefs, it was this AI picture of her like basically naked with like spray painted cheap stuff. See, and like fans were behind her, like yeah. bending her over. Like it looked it's too just much. like yeah. her. Yeah. It's too much, man. It's man, it's too much. But sooner or later they gon they gonna have AI of us. Because right now that's what they doing. Like they somebody brought up a good point. This is a... Uh, this is the one with the fingerprint, right? Uh-huh. And then they got facial recognition. Yeah. And then next thing you know, they're going to come out with a, with an iPhone that, you know, do just, or you put it up to your eye, retinal. So they, the, somebody said they trying to get all your features right now that you, you post a pic on Facebook or Instagram. They have license to your picture. 
The, your picture yeah, could show a, up in, on billboards in other countries. What's, you could be an AI on the on the, on yeah. the TV. Like you could be on the. They can make it to it. You could be on the Asian TV show right now across yeah. the world, and you yeah. won't even know. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's it's getting bad, bro. Mm. It's getting mad, and uh, I thought we pretty much getting too smart for our own self. That's what it is. We getting too smart. For our own self, and like I said, and I don't think there's a good ending to it. I love technology, mm. I really do, but sometimes I think we're doing too much. You think so? Way too much. Mm. Hey, what if I was on the show in Asia? That'd be crazy. Yeah, I didn't get my loot. They yeah, need, they need to cut me a check or something. Yeah, see, but <laughs> you you got anything planned like uh, post retirement? Like the other day, I was talking to my dad. We was watching bowling, and I'm like, "Dad, would you want to do this?" And he was like, "I am gonna do this, like, like professional bowling." Like yeah. he was telling me the things you need to do to like get be a professional and be on the. Yeah. He said he gonna do all that. So, do you have any plans, uh, uh, pre or post, you know, retirement that you want to do or accomplish? Uh, some things, uh, entertainment wise, entertainment. So, kind of some things I'm kind of working on now. Okay. Just, just to play with some stuff, um, just to see, just to see, because search I want to try, mm-hmm. and wh- and my thing is why not? Mm-hmm. But I'm always going to be willing to just choose. Like I, I worked a girl out at BT l- last week. Mm-hmm. Now I used to coach her dad. Now I told her I gave her like a little 20 minute workout to see what she could do. Mm-hmm. But I said, let me know if you want to come back. Mm-hmm. So I used to do it for free. I don't do it for free no more. Yeah. So, but now I said it's gonna be a real workout. Mm-hmm. Now. I put it through a real one. Mm-hmm. People, they they call me back. Mm. So I said, it's going to show me how much you really want to play. Yeah. I said, because, baby, you starting out now, girl basketball is not like it was. Yeah. I got two little cousins. They, they from L.A., man. Every year they have the Nike Tournament of Champions at the McCormick Place. Mm-hmm. It'd be over 700 teams of girls across the country. I've been going like the last five years because mm-hmm. both my cousins L.A. play. Mm-hmm. And, man, it's you see this, the whole McCormick Place on both sides – with all those courts and nothing but girls, and they hooping, man. Mm. They hooping. So I said, if you want to be serious with this, you got to really work. Because these girls, girls in basketball, because like I watched the best game I saw this year, pro anything, was the women. Really? South Carolina and LSU. Yeah, cause yeah. Because they was playing basketball, man. They were screaming. Oh, you watched that game too? Oh, yeah. Yes. They, when, uh, when Reese fouled out? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, they yeah. was hooping, man. But I, I was just watching on the basketball tip. How they were screening, they was communicating, they was hedging on on the down screens, they was showing and recovering. Oh, I was like, man, this is basketball. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so that part, like the teaching of boy, anybody who want to play, you serious? I will always teach that if okay. you serious. Okay. I waste my time if you ain't serious. Okay, got you, got you. Yeah. And one last question before we get on out of here. Um, this is the Game Changers podcast, yes, and I always ask my guests, uh, what 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 makes you a game changer? Impact. Impact. Okay. Impact on uh impact on people in some way. Mm. And that's that's the biggest thing with with me. I wanna be impactful mm-hmm. with somebody. I think I have, I still I think it's more God want me to do, but I wanna just be impactful in a lot of different ways. Yep. Okay. That make you a game changer. Yeah. Yeah, yep. I, I believe that too. I, I believe I, I have ways to go, you know, to uh, I feel like I'm impactful right, right now, but I have ways to go as a 26 year old. You know, some people say, you know, it, life really start like when you hit 40. Is that true? Oh, no. Life start when you become grown paying your bills. <laughs> OK, well, <laughs> so, I'm doing that right yeah, now. I know so cause I don't I know a lot of time, one girl I know. Mm-hmm. I mean, she literally. Was on her own since she was like uh, seventeen, literally. Mm-hmm. So for me, I think we start paying bills. But I'm gonna say this here: um, I'm very, very proud of you because because I saw you from here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And to see what you're doing now, uh, obviously you're from a great family, but you, your own man, yeah, you, TJ, but you're you're not your father. Right. You're, you're TJ. Yeah. Even though your father and your mama is in you, yeah. you are your own person. Yeah. And I'm proud of everything you, you're doing. I love you in this space. And uh, I think greatness is let ahead. Like you said, JV said, <laughs> keep coming. Yeah, yeah. Keep coming to the show. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? For so, sure. very, very proud of you. 
I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But yeah, that's all we got for y'all today. Uh, Drake, stay off of social media (laughs) for a few weeks, please. Please. I'm tired of seeing people on on the timeline reacting to this. I'm tired. I don't. The video, it just keep popping up. I I don't even want to see it now. I don't. You said, I don't want to. I didn't want to see it. So now you can unsee it. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, Drake, stay off the line. Uh, And the most important thing in this world is to help other people, you know, get to where they where they need to be, because a little bit of a little bit of motivation, a little bit of inspiration, y'all could go a long way, man. Mr. Game Changer signing out. Holla.